So have you ever gone into the craft store? Just a bit of piece of fabric, maybe something for the back of a quilt. And while you're there, you start wandering because there's so much eye candy. There's the scrapbook section and the buttons and the trims and the paint. <gasps> oh, well, those things, those crafty items and the IQ designer in the Altair, they go together and they make each one better. Let's see. I'm Kathy and this is Sewing Tech Talk. There's a giveaway for today's video. It's this great pack of thread. Go to the comment section, and every time you do comment, share, or like, you're in for a chance to win. We're gonna embellish a fill pattern that we create in IQ Designer with all those cool crafty things that we find. So we're gonna do an embellishment of it, but first we have to create the fill pattern. So let's go to IQ Designer and we're gonna create a basic fill pattern. And I want you to see some of the options you have in IQ Designer when you create one of these. So to the machine. So in IQ Designer, this is the workspace. How do I get there? Well, from the Home tab, from the Altair, I go to IQ Designer, and then I'm here at the IQ Designer workspace. Now this little box of four things up here, that deals with the lines. When I have artwork in the IQ Designer uh, workspace, I can play with the lines of it, and I can also fill with the regions, which is the center part of any of the artwork. And that's down in this little box right here. Now there's a handout that's available to you. It's an IQ Designer quick reference guide and it tells you what all these buttons are for. It's a great thing to have handy if you're going to play an IQ Designer. I also have a handout that's going to take you through the process I'm going through now just to create a basic fill in IQ Designer. So we're going to be dealing right here, but first let's tell the machine how big a space or what kind of a shape we want to use. So down here in the Shapes tab, I have different options. I can choose a shape. There's all kinds of different shapes. I can pull up an outline that I've pulled out from an embroidery, or I could just say, I want you to fill an entire hoop. Now, these are all the hoops that are available for this machine. Let's just go to our square hoop, which is our nine and a half by nine and a half. And I'm going to say, okay. And now I have the outline of that nine and a half by nine and a half hoop. That's everything that would fit in that hoop. Now let's pull up a decorative fill pattern. In the region properties box that's right here under the menu, I have a basic fill which fills everything in. I have a stipple which is a stipple. This is a no-sew if I don't want anything sewn in there. And under this tab, secretly hidden, are some decorative fills. You gotta really want them because you gotta push, touch the screen a couple times to get to them. So under select, I have a whole bunch of fills. And if I go to the next page, I have a whole bunch more. Now I'm gonna choose, let's say, let's just choose this one because that's the one I've embellished right here. So I'm gonna say, okay. Now, I can pick any kind of color. I'm just going to leave it in red. That's just fine. I'm going to say OK. Now, I want to fill up that hoop that I've chosen. So I want to touch the paint bucket key. And then now when I touch the screen, everything inside of that box, as it were, is going to be filled with that pattern. Now, this is just a representation of the pattern. This isn't what it's going to look like. I'm going to see that in the next couple screens. So when I hit the word, oh, one more thing. I make sure I don't want any stitching around that outside edge. If this was a shape, what I would do is I would come here and I would say, I don't want any sewing around that outside edge because I don't. So when I hit OK, just to be safe, I'm going to touch that outside edge and it's not going to sew anyway because I chose a hoop. But if this was a shape, this would make sure that that outside outline wasn't going to be sewn. Remember, this is all in your handout. So when I go next, what's going to happen is I'm brought up to the Stitch Properties screen. So this is all the different ways I can change and affect what I've chosen. So I have that pretty decorative fill. Once again, this is just a representation that's not the actual what it's going to look like. I can choose the size of it. I can choose the angle of it, and I can ask for an outline to be stitched around the outside edge of it. 
I can change any of those. I don't want an outline on the outside of it. So when I touch this and I say off and I touch set, I'm not going to have an outline at the outside edge. So let's just see what a basic one looks like. I'm going to hit preview and now I get to see what it's going to look like in stitches. There it is. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? You can see it kind of repeats. It kind of this fill kind of looks like a tile. And so that's at 100%. Let's go back and make a couple changes. I'm going to hit return. Now here, instead of 100%, let's make it really tiny. So I'm going to hit 100% and I'm going to go down as small as I can, which happens to be 50%. There it is. When I hit set, and I go to the preview screen, you can see that it's taken that fill pattern, that design, and made it so much smaller. This is really kind of neat, and it's actually kind of dense. So if you want something to be really dense and kind of have some rigidity to it, this is a great way to go. I don't think I'd quilt a quilt this way. Let's go back and see something else. Let's hit return, and let's change this now. Instead of 50%, let's go all the way up to 200%. Now, all I have to do is hit set, and if I hit preview, it's going to show me what that looks like. Now, just a word. This is the Baby Lock Altair, and it's a fantastic machine. There's another, there's a few other Baby Lock machines that have IQ Designer. There's even the top of the line Solaris 2. Now, that machine has IQ Designer, obviously, but it has so many more choices and decorative fills. And you know how I keep going to this other screen to see it? Well, it shows it to me instantly what it's going to look like. So that's kind of a cool feature. Just wanted to let you know. So, oh, I didn't hit set, obviously, because it brought it back in the same size. Remember, you got to hit set. But here's the cool thing. I haven't gone anywhere. I can go back and forth until I like what it shows me. So let's go 50%. Let's take it back up again to 200%. Now, if I stop talking and hit set, that tells the machine I want it to be a really big design. You got to remember to touch the buttons. So I'm going to hit preview, and this time it's going to you're going to see that that's a really big design. It's like a single flower. I might be able to use that in a quilt. So I have lots of different choices to to get different fill patterns. Now let's take a look at another one, and then we're going to we're going to stitch something out. But let's see how those little embellishments make it better. So I'm going to hit return. Now this time, hmm, let me pick a slightly different one. Let's go back and let's choose a different fill pattern. Notice how I'm going back and forth until I'm happy with what I got. I'm going to touch select, and this time I think I'm going to touch the leaves. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, and I can choose any color I want. They're leaves, so let's try green. Okay, now I'm going to touch that bucket and touch in the middle of my square one more time. Oh, I think I want it to be really big. I think I want it to fill up a whole hoop. So let's go here and let's choose a different hoop. Let's choose the biggest hoop I have, which is nine and a half by 14. Okay. Now I have a big hoop. If I wanted to, I could fill that up as well. But let's take this and let's clear that out. And this time, let's just fill up that whole hoop with that cool design. Notice how you have all clear and you have undo, which is really neat. If you make a choice and you don't like it, you can come back and you can sort of fix it. So when I hit next, let's make this fill, hmm, let's make this maybe just a little bit bigger. We're going to go to maybe 150%. When you change the size, it goes up in increments of 5%. So let's go up to maybe 150. And I don't want that outline. And every time I make a choice or a change, I have to touch set just to let the machine know that I've intended what I want to do. Now I'm going to hit OK. Oh, and that's very pretty. That fills up my whole hoop. I kind of like the way it looks. I'm going to hit set and I'm going to send it off to the land of embroidery. Now, 
It's just like any other embroidery design that might be in my machine. I can change the size of it. I can change the color of what I was going to be. I can do all kinds of choices with it. So I kind of like that. I think I'm going to stitch it on top of something that I've already crafted. When you go into that craft store, you have all kinds of choices. I went in last time and I found a really pretty stencil and I found some paints. So I just painted on a piece of fabric and I'm going to stitch just on top of my pretty piece of fabric. Remember, I didn't buy it. I just kind of created it. So I'm going to put it on. Remember, that bill pattern is going to fill up this entire hoop and I'm going to get some leaves on the top of my birds. I'm going to thread it on my machine with some off-white thread. I'm going to lower the presser foot. Oh, I have to go to embroidery. Here we go. Now, I'm going to stitch out this fill pattern on the top of my pretty design. And then we're going to go over to the cutting table and we're going to see how we can take a basic designs that I've already stitched out and we're going to make them so much better. So we'll stitch this and I'll see you over there at the table. So I bet you thought I was a little nuts when I had this painting, this stenciling that I did, and I put a stitching over the top of it. Well, I was, and I was going to do it in off-white thread, but I changed my mind and I did some variegated greens. And I think it turned out pretty cool. What it does is it gives another dimension on the top of the birds. So I had painted the birds on the fabric. Now I'm going to use the lines of the fill to create some more dimension. I'm going to actually paint a little bit inside of some of these leaves. And I'm going to use a very light wash of paint. So I have my Mighty Paint brush. I have a little bit of paint paint. What I'm going to do is thin the paint out, get my brush pretty dry. I'm going to find a leaf and I'm just going to paint inside the leaf real thin so that you can see through it. It was pretty easy. It's just a little bit of paint, a paintbrush, and I just painted on the fabric. What's my special secret for painting with paint on fabric? Well, here's my special secret. I take the paint, my favorite brand is Any, and I pour it in a little container, the top of a milk carton, milk jug, and then I just paint it on the fabric. Have you ever gotten paint on any of your clothing? Were you ever able to get it out? Me neither. So my secret trick is just paint on the top of the fabric and it's going to be okay. So what I can do is I can come through with the parts of this fill that I stitched on there. I can use it kind of like a coloring book with my, with my uh, paints. I could even use markers if I wanted to. There's all kinds of fun ways to mark on fabric. There's inks, there's everything out there. The trick is the machine, the Altair, let me make the custom fill the size that I wanted to. And I can take this basic, basic, it could be fabric and I can embellish it to whatever I want. So paint's pretty cool. Let me show you another one. Remember that one I had at the very beginning? Well, here's that one design that I did at the very beginning. And what I did is, I hope you remember the way it looked like on the machine. I just took some silver paint and I painted within these lines right here. These are unpainted. These are painted. Here's my favorite trick. You take some paint, my favorite brand is any, put it in the little container and you just paint on the, uh, you just paint on the fabrics with using the lines. Pretty easy. And it's just some simple strokes. And it takes a simple design and it highlights the parts that you want to highlight. Isn't it amazing?
It takes any of those that you've created in IQ Designer and now they're your own custom. There's lots of different ways you can do it and it's not just with paint. What if you want to emphasize other parts of it? Go into the scrapbooking section. I do all the time. They have so many cute little things in there. They have little flowers. Look how cute that is. Look at how cute that is. You can use the, 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 little, the little additions, the little tchotchkes, and put them all kinds of different places on the fill. And it emphasizes the different parts of that decorative fill. Pretty cool, right? Now, there's another thing that I have a lot of fun with, and I bet you can see it on this, is I like to use hot fix embellishments to go on the top of my fills. It really emphasizes parts. Now, if you didn't get the memo about 15, 20 years ago, they came out with something a little bit better than that rhinestone setter we used to have to deal with. We used to have these little prong things and we put the rhinestone in, we had this little magic device, well, things have changed just a little bit. Now, they have hot fix crystals and metal embellishments and all kinds of fun stuff. So these little metal uh, additions, they just went on, they just got put on with the hot fix adhesive and they stay really, really good. Oh, look at how pretty this is. I bet I could put this on the back of a jacket or down the side of a pair of Levi's and it would look stunning. So how do you do that? Well, wait, before that, I have some pretty neat stuff. Here's just a basic, basic uh, diamond shape. Let's add some crystals. Look how it changes it. These are little tiny, tiny Swarovski crystals. Look at what it gives it. It gives that, that extra little glow. Here's the same design as this. Let's stitch it on a different fabric. This time, let's put some paint on inside the petals. It's just a little bit of gold metallic gold metallic paint. Put it in part of it. Put a little metal crystal in the middle. Pretty cool, right? Now, how do those crystals go on? Let me just show you really, really quick. Here's my little crystal applicator wand. And I have it in a little cup just so I'm not going to burn myself. But what it is, it comes with different little tips. And there's a tip to fit each different size of the crystals. You even have some flat tips, and that's what I have on here because I've been putting on different size crystals. It gets hot, so do be careful. This is not a craft to do with a small child because they will burn themselves, and if you're not careful, you might burn yourself too. So what we're going to do is we're just going to find our little crystal. And it's as simple as finding it, putting it exactly where you want it to be. You gotta scoot it where you are. And I, I wish you could see on the video. Oh my gosh, that is so sparkly. Now, there's a tip that fits inside that, but I'm just gonna use my flat tip and I'm just gonna hold it on the top there. I'm not gonna press down hard. It's just gonna heat up that crystal. And when it does, it melts that, whoops. I said I wasn't gonna press down too hard and I did. I played tiddlywinks there. Who remembers tiddlywinks? Okay, here we go. And then you can count 15, 16, 17, 18, 14, 12, 10, nine, boom. Let it cool, see if you did it, and that was it. I wish you could see how sparkly that is. So you can create some pretty amazing stuff. You can paint, micro glitter, pins, little tchotchkes from the, from, from the scrapbooking section. I think next time you go in, you're going to be thinking not just about what's going to go into your cart, but what you can do in IQ Designer to use all that cool stuff. So I think that I need to do a little bit more with my fill stitches. I think I might have to go back and do some more shopping. I got a license to shop as if I needed one. So creativity, the Altair IQ designer, hmm, 
it's limitless. So I'm going to shoot it on over to George because I've got quite a few more crystals to put on to give it that extra little bit of bling. Hope you enjoyed and I hope you go out, get some embellishments, play with your IQ designer. Thanks Kathy, that was an incredible presentation. Don't forget you can click on a, the link and download Kathy's lesson guide on today's presentation. But I want to take a couple moments to share with you my favorite features on the Baby Lock Altair. I believe the Altair is dollar for dollar the most advanced machine on the market. There are machines that sell for thousands of dollars more that do not offer the same features. You know, the embroidery features are incredible. The nine and a half inch by 14 inch embroidery area, you can really uh, expand your horizon with embroidery and there's 494 built-in designs. You also have that 10.1 inch color screen that gives you all kinds of editing capability from color to sizing to also you can actually take designs and do automatic stippling around it. It has 30 built-in fonts and five jumbo monograms. Now with the fonts, you have all kinds of editing capability. You can even take and put in a, a name or a saying and then do an applique border and turn it into applique automatically. It also has the IQ Designer. Now this is an app that you use your smart device like a phone uh, or an iPad and you can send an image, a graphic image to the machine and it will turn it into embroidery instantly. The embroidery is amazing, but what about the sewing and quilting? This machine has 11.25 inches of space and five inches of height, so you can fit even the largest quilts into this machine. It also has automatic fabric sensors that will sense the thickness of the fabric so it will set the right pressure and with the automatic tension, it gives you perfect fabric control from heavy denim to very sheer fabric to working with elastic or even a t-shirt collar. This machine truly controls the fabric with perfection. But also it has the digital dual feed and that what that does is that is a belt driven uh, uh, walking foot system that's controlled by the motor of the machine. And you can control even like here with this minky perfectly. So you have so many amazing features with this machine. But what about an amazing deal? But wait, that's not all. For a limited time and while we have it in stock, we are offering a special bonus with your Altair purchase. So first, we're going to give this beautiful set of 63 spools of a polyester embroidery thread. This, the beautiful shine and quality of this thread is quite amazing. Also, I'm including uh, the Baby Lock Ultimate Stabilizer Bundle. This has the, uh, the most popular rolls of stabilizer from wash away to cut away in different colors, and this will enhance your embroidery to give you a better quality. I'm also including the Baby Lock Altair inspirational guide. Now the instructions on this machine is wonderful, but what's different about the inspirational guide, it is written by baby lock educators. Assuming you know nothing about the machine, so it takes you through every aspect, giving you uh, full color. It's, it's over 300 pages of full color description, step-by-step -step description. And if you complete this uh, inspirational guide, you truly know everything on this machine. We're including that. Plus, we're going to include a online membership to Baby Lock's Love of Knowledge. This has hundreds of videos that give you step-by-step -step details on how to use the machine and also do techniques. This is invaluable and you get a membership to this as well. You also get our famous rose gold scissors. Um, <laughs> these scissors are wonderful, both the shears and the embroidery shears. But last and not least, we put together a very exclusive design bundle by Anita Good Design. It has 17 different collections and it comes with over uh, 400 design files. And it's truly amazing the variety you get with this. So all this, which equals over a $1,600 value is free with your Altair purchase 
for a limited time. Now we will run out of these supplies, so this is while supplies last. So click on the link to order, or you can call us at 1-800-865-9664. You can email me at moreso at AOL.com. But don't wait, this deal will surely end. But if you have any questions, again, call us at 1-800-865-9664. Bye for now. Oh,